this is what I ordered. This mannequin from Amazon. This is what I use as the breastplate. It's perfect because it's half of a mannequin and then I just cut off the arms and I like customized it to make it perfect for the photo shoot. So this is me trying to cut the mannequin. I use these really like high quality scissors in my kitchen, but it wasn't working. So I used another pair of scissors, kitchen scissors that actually was a little bit sharper and was able to cut through the mannequin. So I had to cut off the head The inspiration for this shoot was Zendaya, her breastplate, gorgeous. And then I found this picture on, on Pinterest. And I, I like the way that her breastplate, it curved at the bottom. So that was my inspiration. I was like trying to outline like where should I cut the breastplate. So on the mannequin, I took a Sharpie and I like I, I, I outlined where I wanted to cut it to kind of match that Pinterest photo. And then I put it, the mannequin on and I was like, wait, do I want to keep these arms? Like, was it a vibe? But then I ended up cutting it off because it just didn't look right. So I cut the arms off. Here's a picture of cutting the arms off. I didn't record it because it was just, it, it took forever, honestly. So here is me making the skirt. I bought these Nike bags for a photo shoot that I did in L.A., and I ordered so many Nike bags. I think I ordered 100. And I was like, I'm using orange for the breastplate. I shouldn't use the bag to make a skirt. So I just outlined the skirt. I wanted to make it like patchwork. Here are the tools that you will need if you want to do this. This is the paint. Hopefully this is enough for me. Resin. I have paint brushes. They're small, but so it might take me a little long, but that's all I have right now. And then the plate for the paint. Ooh. I'm going to do at least two coats because I want it to be like just orange, like this bright orange. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Vilma from Scooby-Doo inspired this. The black is still peeping through. The, look at the black. No, no way, no way. Really? I thought the black would be covered with the paint. If I do two coats and the black is still there, I'm just going to have to Photoshop it out. Okay, let's see now if the black will come out. This is the second coat. Nope. I got paint on my white socks, y'all. So this is after four coats and it's still showing. Now what I'm going to do is go over it with white paint and then have the top coat be orange. So this is the best that I can do with covering the black line. And honestly, it's not bad. So here is the resin. You, wait, oh, am I doing this right? Oh, this is part B. You know what? Okay. So you want to pour part A into part B. Okay. Okay. So at this point, it was time to do the resin, which is the coat that makes the breastplate shiny. And honestly, I, I was I was doing it all wrong. I poured part B into part A. So do not do what I did. 
this part is actually very crucial. I was eyeballing it. So do not eyeball it. Make sure you actually measure how much of A is the same amount that's in part B. So when you mix it, it's not like this wrong concoction. Done. The lighting was really, really bad when I started to paint it. I wish like it captured just how beautiful the resin really made the orange so bright. Like it made it vibrant like this part is so crucial and you can see in my cup right here when i mix the resin the a and part b together then i poured paint into it the orange paint so it's like this orange coat of resin yeah but yeah this is the best like i try to put it right under the light so you can see the difference that the resin makes like it's beautiful This is skirt. I made two holes in it. See that hole right there? To put a string in it. So this is what the back looks like. So this is my mom. She is tying on the breastplate to me. I, we use these little clips to attach it to my body. And it actually worked. It stayed. Only sometimes when I sat down, it will pop off. But for the most part, it did work. And the back of the outfit looks crazy. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I, it looks crazy. But yeah, that is how it looks. This is the wig I'm wearing. Honestly, this wig is from Amazon. It's not even glued. I didn't even glue it. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. 